Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 9th of 2024 is titled Neptune at Night. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the planet Neptune and a view that we never get from Earth. And this is the most distant planet in the solar system, about 30 times farther away from the sun than our own Earth. Now, in order to see it, you do need a telescope. It is actually too faint to be seen with the naked eye and is one of two planets that were discovered. So the original five planets were known Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Those are easily visible to the naked eye. And of course, Earth was later determined to be a planet before we thought we previously we thought it was something different, something special where we happen to live. And then Uranus and Neptune were discovered later, one in the 1700s for Uranus and then in the 1800s Neptune was discovered. Now, this is a view again that we can never get from Earth because Earth being close to the sun always looks out toward Neptune and Neptune always presents its full face toward Earth. And that means we see it as a fully illuminated disk. Now the only way to see it in a crescent phase such as this is to actually travel out beyond Neptune and get Neptune in between your observation and the sun. So the only craft that can do this are those that traveled out past Neptune in the solar system. And in fact Neptune was visited only once by spacecraft and that was in 1989 when the Voyager 2 spacecraft made its visit to Neptune the fourth of the four planets that it visited on its grand tour of the solar system having explored Jupiter Saturn and Uranus previously and then flying by Neptune in 1989 giving us our only up close images of this ice giant planet. So here we can see that as a crescent. We see Neptune as a crescent, but we can also see a large moon down there toward the bottom as a crescent, and that is the large moon Triton. Triton is the large moon of Neptune and one of the seven large moons in our solar system, which includes, of course, our own moon. So we have this was the first and only time we've really studied these up close and been able to see them in any kind of detail. Now, while we can still look at them with telescopes, the small disks visible even through the most powerful telescopes are nowhere near the same as actually traveling out there to get better views of the planet and its moon and ring system. So whether at some point in the future another craft will visit Neptune, of course, is a possibility, but nothing is really planned for anything in the foreseeable future. So that means that those images from Voyager 2 are really our best way to still study the outermost planet in our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for November 9th of 2024. It was titled Neptune at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Valis Marineris. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.